Carlos and Maria Cochiparti are passing on their knowledge to their daughter and son-in-law in the hope they'll be able to make a living high in the mountains, as hundreds of generations have done before them. But they need help to stem the flow of indigenous youngsters to the cities and beyond. Help in supplying schools, hospitals, roads, drainage and water. Services promised that rarely arrive. There is no future for us here. It's getting worse for indigenous people. Here in the countryside, look at what we are cultivating. It's just dry herbs. Ecuador's president, Rafael Correa, lived here as a young volunteer teacher. He learned Quechua and taught Olga maths. She went on to become a local leader, bringing better education to her community, but frustrated by the slow rate of progress. There's still a lot to be done, and that's not Rafael Correa's fault. It's the fault of those around him, the ministers and governors. Sometimes they don't look at what the community needs. They don't see our reality. Most of Ecuador's indigenous community initially supported Rafael Correa, and many will likely vote on Sunday for his chosen successor, Lenny Moreno. But divisions, particularly over land rights, have emerged, and some supporters shifted to the conservative banker, Guillermo Lasso. This idyllic scene masks a whole host of challenges faced by Ecuador's indigenous community. How to eke a living from barren mountain soil, poor communication, poverty and emigration. What they have had are plenty of promises from their politicians, only some of which have been fulfilled. Some indigenous communities believe they'll never be fairly treated, while Ecuador wants the potentially rich mineral resources that lie under their land. Firstly, we are victims of world capitalist economics. Then we are discriminated against racially. This government has undermined us because they want our territory for their natural resources. Others have worked within the system, seeing many indigenous needs tied to those of the rest of Ecuador. We've won many rights. The Ecuadorian constitution guaranteed the rights of all human beings, although we have many diverse cultures in our country. Whoever wins on Sunday may have to do more than simply learn their languages if they're to win the trust of future generations of Ecuador's indigenous community. Daniel Schweiner, Al Jazeera, Sumbawa, Ecuador.